Would you please introduce yourself and who you will be playing? Hi, my name is Mia and I am going to be playing Emily. How did you find out about the production? So, um, I found out about the production on Star Now, which is a casting website for actors. Originally, I um, applied for Mark's um, LGBTQ plus play, but due to some rearranging, that's been pushed back and we're doing the horror first. So I got an email asking me to audition for this and I came to the audition and here we go. What was the audition process like? So it was, um, there was multiple stages to the audition, which I really enjoyed. So we did a sort of big warm up game, improv, lots of improv, lots of just sort of getting to know each other. And it was really nice and relaxing. Um, we did some lifts and some like bit of dance, bit of movement stuff, which I really like. Uh, and then we did, uh, we brought a monologue in from home, a horror monologue. And then we um, were given the scripts to cold read and we read, um, for, I read for ooh, Emily, Chloe and Jenna. Tell us about your character. So I am going to be playing a character called Emily. I don't want to give too much away about her, but she is, she's not a normal individual. That's what I'll say. Um, and she does a lot of question, no, not even questionable, just horrific things to people, um, which is fun, but also disturbing. That's how I describe her, to not give any, not to not give too many spoilers for the play. How have you found the rehearsal process, darling? So I actually switched characters um, midway through the rehearsal process. Um, so I was playing someone else and now I'm playing Emily, uh, which has been which has been challenging, but um, definitely fun. And Emily is a very, there's a lot of movement for the character of Emily. There's a lot of fight and just sort of, weird movement stuff so so far my main focus has been on the movement for Emily which I've really enjoyed and Mark's let me do a lot of improv and have a lot of input so I feel like I'm really getting to like create the character and I don't feel like I'm being like forced to do anything if that makes sense. What can the audience expect when they come and see Emily and why? Why should they come and see it? If I had to say three things I would say blood, death, and despair. Um, but I think if you like, I think if you like horror, I think a horror play is quite a unique idea. I don't think we've got many horror plays that have been done. So I think it's a chance to come see something that is quite unique and new. Because I think we have a lot of horror films and obviously a lot of plays, but it's not something that I think has been done. I'm not going to say it's the first because I'm sure it's pe other people have done it, but it's definitely a newer idea. So if you want to be scared in the theatre and be disgusted then come and watch Emily um, and if you want to see me eating some arms and sort of being mad then it's the play for you you know